A movement led by Sierra Leonean women across the country is pushing back and imagining a world of safety, dignity, and bodily autonomy for all girls and women. They are working together to end female genital mutilation while upholding the power and possibility of the Bondo, Sierra Leone's female secret society. This is their story. is a bit different from other countries. Because for Sierra Leone, the Bondo Society is a secret society where the NGM is performed as one of the, 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 the activities within the Bondo Society. And so it has a high moral value. Women take it so highly. Our work is to make sure we eliminate FGM within the Bondo culture. And so one way we think we can do that is to have education. I experience her. So because me, at my level now, you cannot expect me to go and cheat because I didn't gain anything there. I know what I experience. Like me, so what talks to you so? Where they go to any bank, they send me now 12 years of food. I want to go to the bank. Ability, I wonder. If you see inside them, put me. You pay the password and go to an alert. Believe it. You understand? The person that did the initiation was just learning. That was her first time of doing it. You know, she caught, she caught, and overcaught, and overcaught. She entered here from one corner to another until I sustained bleeding for eight days. Two of my intimate friends, I can still remember them when they have grown up and they were forcefully initiated. In fact, they bled to death, so they were labeled. Instead of them uh, honoring them for dying of such a horrible uh, barbaric practice, they were named or they were, they were labeled as witchcraft. Due to the future, the scar tissue has formed, long line. So I can't give that on my own. Sometimes I, I would like to try, but no way. So I'm just doing this, yes. 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 I was never wished for that. These women's experiences are shared by thousands of women and girls across Sierra Leone. But why is a practice that is so harmful? still in existence? Of course, um, you have a lot of culture and tradition associated to this thinking. So what we are doing is trying to change social norms. Material books, we work. See, if you know the one, you compare the pro compare the pro book, and the last one, you borrow yourself, you go and meet, if you know the pan, I miss what you need to talk. What will make you feel? I said, let's make like a little bit of a I can't tell you this one. My mama, any small, any after what we say in the morning, when they talk to me, I went back in cosmos, say this poor guy also. We got in our villages there, the friends, they all right now, they laugh me. They say, wait till make what we all dream for society. And they say, we know we need it. But if we reach that age, Go once because the laugh laugh don't tire, we don't tire with laugh laugh. They, they laugh with too much, and for that me. But me so now, I say, Mama, you want to tell me, say, if you need to join Bundu, now cow will not divide from me. But I don't see I'm like, Bundu never did, I mean, I've so small. You know, I'm not ever like Bundu in my life. So I tell me, Mama, I say, I like, invite seven cows to go for me, I know why. <laughs> Despite all the pressure in communities and on girls, Many people still believe that this is an important aspect to their culture without understanding what really happens to girls' bodies and the devastating consequences and potential lifelong impacts that follows. Under the medical aspect of it, you know, we have categories of FGM. We have 
first degree, we have second degree, we have third degree. The first degree is that this is when the clitoris is only taken out. These are specialists that only take the clitoris out. The second degree, people will take the clitoris and the labia minora. You know, the vagina is like this, have three layers. You have the clitoris, you have the labia minora, you have the labia majora. The second degree, people will take the clitoris and the labia minora. Then the third degree, people will take the clitoris, they take the labia minora, and they take the labia majora as well. So everything will just be open like that. But just one life recently is enough for politicians to take action. A 21-year-old girl died in this community where we are seated. A nine-year-old died, unreported. It is only when we came that we were informed. Do you know the number of girls that have died without being reported? We don't know. So how many more do we want to die? FGM practice don't have a cultural significance in Sierra Leone. Because for me, it don't have. Because some people are dying, they don't really know the cause of their barrier. You will know, some time go and say, I, I went to the, to the Juju priest, they told me that uh, my child bearing is, 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 I have my child bearing problem from the Bundabush. You know why? Sometimes if this cut is so deep, they will bleed until the, the blood enters to, 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 the, to the vagina, enter to the tube, block the tubes, so that one healing takes place, the tube will block. So that they can't give back, everything will be blocked. They can't give back. So it, instead, what they will say, huh? Hey, hey, I have my problem. Yes, indeed, you have your problem, but it's not spiritual. It's what they did physically creates this problem for you. Across Sierra Leone, girls, survivors, activists, and communities are all exploring ways to maintaining the important culture and traditions of the Bondo without the cutting. We are fighting against the antipathy, we are fighting against the culture. We want to see how we can promote the culture, but we need to have out of it. Because we believe that um, the Bondo culture can be organized to become a safe space for women. It can be organized to promote the culture. So a lot of Sido let another generation suffer, waiting in suffer. I go be the voice, I go talk till death for say not to end gem or the culture will go dance with the whole team while young and off of church day. Not to him and in every community you go in Sierra Leone, you have a bundle bush and you cannot find a school. So you find out that we have high number of illiteracy among women and girls. So the only way we can help promote that, especially in rural communities, is to make sure we engage the communities 
speak to them on the importance of education and have them remove their bundle bush for the school. They have been very cooperative, very supportive, very active and very robust in their actions. As you can see this morning, you know, see the women helping in filling the structure that is under construction. The men are digging the toilet. There is a lot of community participation. Momentum is growing as thousands of women and girls across Sierra Leone are leading a movement to end FGM. Their strategies, self-organizing and consciousness raising are transforming a culture and tradition from within. They will end FGM in this lifetime. Join them. To find out more about the Watikura Initiative, go to www.wearepurposeful.org.